Hi there, I am Raj Krishan Ghosh from Blender File and today we will have a closer look at the hair info node. So here in here in this Blender file we can see a cube that has a basic particle system to it. Here I have changed the particle system type from emitter to hair. And we have given it a basic mix shader with a diffuse of blue and a red. So if I go to render mode you can see that it has a purple color which is the mix between the blue one and the red one. Now we press shift A then input and hair info. So what this hair info node basically does is it gives different factors which can be used to give some cool shaders. So first of all is the is strand factor. So from here info the is strand if I give the is strand factor to the mix shader you can see that the hair is red and the mesh itself is blue. This is because is strand gives a value of 1 where there are strands and gives 0 otherwise. So when a value of 1 is given to the mix shader it takes the diffuse color of red which is the bottom shader and the top shader blue shader is given when the value is 0 so the mesh has a blue color next is the intercept node intercept factor so if I plug that you can't really see much difference maybe let's change the hair set, uh, cycles hair settings so let's close the tip maybe a 10 for the root and a 10 for the tip so here you can see that the bottom of the hair is blue and the top of the hair is red and in between there is purple so it is diffusing from it is changing from a color of blue to a color of red so as you can imagine the intercept node actually gives a value of 0 at the root of a hair and a value of 1 at the tip of a hair. So this can be used to create some cool effects like transparency on the tip side etc. Next is the thickness. Now if we plug the thickness into the factor you can see that everything turns blue and the reason is that this thickness node gives an output corresponding to here uh, the value of these cycles hair settings so it's not directly in the node the influential factor is the cycles hair settings so here you can see the thickness for the root and the tip now the thickness node gives a value of 0 for a thickness of 0 and gives a value of 1 for a thickness of 100 so if I change the root thickness to 100 you can see that it becomes red so it's a one factor for a hundred thickness and a zero factor for a zero thickness now if we change the root value from 100 to 200 we'll see that the root becomes more and here it's it has a factor of 2 actually which changes from 2 to 1 and then 0 so up to here up to this area we see a red color and then it gradually changes to blue so yeah and then there is tangent normal now this is not a factor but this is a vector containing red green and blue values so if I put a converter and then separate RGB and take the output from the separate RGB the R we are taking the red output of the RGB node now what we see if we go to orthographic mode we see that here we can see here in the bottom left we can see the axis so X has an has a color of red Y has a color of green and Z has a color of blue so if any direction that is if we are looking through that axis to the object then a value of 1 will be given for example 
x is red here so if we see it x is positive x is this direction so if we see the object from the positive x direction the output of the r will be a 1 and if we see from the negative x direction the output will be minus 1 and if we see from top or bottom it will be a value of 0 and a value intermediate in the other so if I change it and see directly from the positive x axis you can see that the strands become a color of white and if I change the angle slowly you will see that when I go to the top it becomes a complete black color because the factor is zero here now if we continue to go to the opposite side this is I am seeing it through the negative x-axis you will see that it is black it is black because it is a doesn't mean that it has a value of zero it ha actually has a value of minus one so if we see it from top it is a value of zero to minus one so minus one to zero to one similarly for the green channel if we see it from the direction of positive y axis the value will be 1 and we see it from negative y axis and the value will be minus 1 and intermediate values otherwise so we are seeing it from the y positive y axis as you can see here and the value of 1 similarly the z axis so this can be used to create some really cool effects anyways so this is the hair info node if you like this video press like subscribe for more videos and if you have some suggestions you can post them in the comments below for more awesome tutorials visit facebook slash blender file thank you and have a nice day